Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. Today I am using stamp sets that are in the last chance list from the Stamping Up store to do refreshing things on your cards. The one for today is stacking. Check the one previous to this video. You will like it. Let's go stamp. What do I mean with stacking? Today's tip is to stack one thing on top of another. As you see on the card that we are going to be making, I stack several flowers up. Where does this idea came from? It came from this card. A friend of mine, Heather Harold, sent me this card for Christmas years ago and I still kept it. Why? Because I love the sketch. You put many cups one on top of the other and it's just a simple card, beautiful sketch you can use for any card that you have some images and some sentiments. So let's make this card. I am using the Retiring Flower Shop stamp set. It's this one, one that we many of us love forever and ever. We are going to be using this flower. And then I want to show you some more samples with the stacking technique. Super simple, you can use it in many ways. But let's start with this one, okay? I will be using several colors and in, and in this case, I will be using in colors. This one is the Lemon Lime Twist from 2017, 2019. But we are receiving new colors for stamping up. And the new colors are, um, on this card, are going to be lovely lipstick. You see it right here. And we are also going to be using Call Me Clover. We are not using necessarily the ink pad, but we will be using the color, as you see. And they really, really go nicely together. So they have a punch of color right there, and I totally love it. Today we are using a card base in Lemon Lime Twist. And I brought several flowers here on a piece of Whisper White. I already stamped two of them. And I'm going to stamp another one of my flowers with the lovely lipstick. Let me show you how this opens, okay? They are very nice to open now. Very different, though, than the other, the other pads that we had. But very easy, and I just love them. They're tight. Usually on my flower shop stamp set, I like to color one of my petals, the one at the bottom that coordinates with the punch. And here we have the punch is also retiring. So we're making good use of it today. I will be tap, tap, tapping over my, you cannot see it well, but there I go, over my ink and I'm going to stamp my flower right there. I will remove my ink pad away and close it. And I will bring my punch and I will punch my flowers easily. And the reason why I like coloring the bottom of my, of my stamp is so that it's easy for me to know which one is the petal that looks toward the bottom. So we will cut a few more here. And you can do this with any stamp set with any images. If you, if you don't mind cutting by hand, you can do that too with some scissors in some of your images. I enjoy doing it with punches that have coordinating stamp sets because it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, okay? And stamping up sort of knows how to do that with many other, other stamp sets. They have coordinating stamps. So now I will bring this over. I have all of my all of my different flowers punch over here and I will show you how I did this, okay? I will take my adhesive and I will put it here. I will put it in position. This is the front of my card. For the sentiment, the stamp set that I use was the Just At Text. You see it here is also retiring and I love this sentiment. This one says, next time you think of wonderful things, don't forget to count yourself. Totally love it. So we're gonna take a few of my flowers. We're gonna put a little bit of that in there. And I wanna put some in, one in the middle. I'll put one at the bottom. Oops, I took two. Right there. And I will put one on the top. And I'll just put a little bit of adhesive in the center. Why? Because then come the different leaves with the leaf punch. There you have it. And this is my Call Me Clover new ink color for 2018, 2020. Can you imagine we are saying 2020 already? <gasps> Have mercy. The year is coming, coming very soon. But anyhow, the way I did this is I use a little bit of glue 
I actually positioned them how I wanted them under this first. And I have more that I already did. I will be putting this one under here. Actually, I think I did that one over here. Yep, I'll do that. I'll take another one and put it under here for now. Then I will take my other ones and put them with dimensionals to give some dimension to my card. Oops, not that one, this one. I'll put a dimensional behind it. Take the little paper away and put this one right here. Oops, wait, I don't wanna cover my sentiment, okay? And I'll take another piece of dimensional, put it in the back of my flower. And this one I will be positioning around here. Okay, so I'm stacking all of these flowers here and I will be using my tumble glue for this. So I'm using my tumble glue and I'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of this one. Okay, and I will position it around here. There you go, and you can move them however you want, really. You may not want them totally out of the paper. Let's see if I have one more. Yes, I have one more. Let's see where I'm gonna put this one. Let's see, I think I'll put this one here too. Really, we don't have to be so picky about where do they go. Later on, I'll put more glue on the other ones. I wanna show you, I put some rhinestones in some of the flowers just to call some attention. And I'll show you other cards that do not have rhinestones. Uh, you're gonna love the different samples with this same technique. I can just imagine the different, um, the different stamp sets that you have at home that you can use this technique with. There you go. Beautiful card, absolutely. Look at the inside. This is what I did at the in the inside. And again, I am using last chance um, stamp sets. Here for the sentiment, I used the Your Priceless. I decided to put you friend, my friend, are priceless, okay? To remind someone how beautiful they are. And I believe I already stamped this, so. Yes, I did, because I, I was prepared for you today. You get the hang of it, and I'm gonna put dimensions on all of this at the bottom of my video today. I hope you're enjoying this, and you are already brainstorming which one or which stand set you will be making this card with. I have another leaf here that I will be positioning, so I'll put a little bit of glue. And I'll just put it right here. And then I will put a little bit of glue on my on my flower. I just want a little bit of dimension. But I won't put a rhinestone on that one because this is gonna go on the inside of my card. I don't want it to break anything. So we'll put this inside my card. And you see how stacking images together just makes things blooms so naturally and so nicely. Don't you think that is the most lovely card with a flower shop and the colors are fantastic. So you have to uh, keep your eyes open for what is coming, lovely lipstick. Now, let me show you some different samples made with this same technique of stacking. Check this one out. I made these two cards. Don't you think they are adorable? They are with the Sprinkles of Life stamp set. Here it is. And our Sprinkles of Life is also leaving us. We love it, but it's gonna leave together with a punch. Here is the punch. And uh, I decided to make some cards with it. So this is another example of stacking. I use the ice cream, stacking it one on top of the other. And you may be wondering what colors are these? Well, let me tell you that this is the blueberry bushel. I think I said it right, bushel. And um, I also use the Grapefruit Grove. Here you go. So for my cone, I use the Grapefruit Grow. And for my sentiment, I use the Blueberry Bushel. And these are two of the new ink colors coming. Now, as my card base, I use the Powder Pink, which is my other ink color or previous ink color that is not retiring. It's gonna be right there. And look at that inside. Isn't that beautiful? These cards were made, again, with the Sprinkles of Life. And those ones are going to be retiring too. I have Another set here of cards that you can see, I have this one that I made with a flower shop and this one that I'm using the same sentiment here. This is the actual stamp set that the happy birthday comes with. Also retiring, too many retiring stamp sets, but we love them all and I've used them 
many, many times. I just wanted to show you some last ideas with them and also refreshing ideas that you can use in other, in, with other stamp sets. Now, let me show you another card I made with the same idea of stacking. Here I am stacking and I also use some masking, but then I stack flowers up, 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 and I have my little hummingbird. Um, on the flowers. This is from the stamp set You Move Me, which is also retiring from our store. And look at those beautiful ideas that I posted in other videos before. I really enjoy the stacking, stacking. Now, I have one more for you, and you are totally going to love this one, okay? Are you ready? Yes, you are. I so wanna show you this card. <laughs> Okay, here it goes. Look how beautiful that is. And again, these are some of the ink colors coming uh, with a new catalog. But I decided to use my So Many Shells stamp set. And as you can see, I did the same thing um, here that I did here. But in this case, I had no punches. And I decided that I did not want to cut. So I stacked them one on top of the other, just stamping on a piece of paper that is two and a half by four and a quarter. And I punch a circle with a, I think it's a two inch circle and the sentiments. And these, this is one of the most beautiful stamp sets that I've seen in the catalog. It has so many nice sentiments. So take a, hang, a hold of this one before it's done. And here I use my Grapefruit Grove and I also use the beautiful blueberry bushel. You are going to love these colors coming from Stamping Up. In the meantime, I hope this tip helped you. And if it did, I want you to tell me in the comments, okay? Because I want to see you stacking cards one after the other and making beautiful things. Today, I want to encourage you in the Lord, learning how you yourself can encourage yourself in the Lord. This is the second tip I want to give you. I gave you one on my previous Last Chance Refreshing Tips video. Today, I want to remind you, read the Word. Read the Bible. It's as simple as that. It is so refreshing for our walk with God and our walk in life. No matter what troubles you're going through, the Word of God, Matthew 4, 4, says that it's food for us. It's our nutrition. And then in John 8, 32, it says that the truth sets us free. The prophet Jeremiah that cries so much and brought so many difficult prophecies said and testified that the Word of God is actually his joy. And I love that. Psalm 1 talks about the blessed man, he who delights in the law of the Lord, right? And also in John 15, 7, apparently it, to Jesus is that if you remain in his words and his words remain in you, you can ask whatever you want and he will give it to you. There's a closeness. There's a fellowship with the heart of Jesus when you stay in the word. And I want to refresh you. I want to bring refreshment to you with this word in Psalm 119, 12 through 16. It says, Praise be to you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. With my lips I recount all the laws that come from your mouth. I rejoice. I meditate. I delight. And he made a choice. I will not neglect your word. And I have a question for you today. How are you encouraging yourself in the Lord? Things sometimes are hard, but I know you can do it. I'm praying today that you're encouraged. God bless you. Leave me the comments below. How do you encourage yourself in the Lord? Thank you for being here. It's a blessing to have you. Ciao, ciao.